This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Friday, July 3rd, 2015. Euro dollar. So overall, not much going on with the euro right now, with the market still confined to the price action that we had seen earlier this week and on Monday. A <coughs> break on either side is going to be required for clear directional insight, while on a medium-term basis, the key levels to watch above and below come in at 114.67 and 108.19. Ultimately, euro is locked within a medium-term downtrend, and so the pressure remains on the do downside while below 14.67 in favor of a break back below 108.19, which guards against that critical 2015 base from March, that 12-year low, which comes in at 104.62 sterling dollar. So cable has pulled back and continues to extend declines off that recent 2015 high at 59.30 with the market now trading back towards some previous resistance going back to February in the 55.50 area. At this point a break and close below 55.50 would be required to put the pressure back on the downside while inability to do so will keep the pressure on the top side for a potential higher low and retest of that recent 59.30 2015 high. Dollar yen. So dollar yen has seen some quieter trade in recent weeks since breaking to a fresh multi-year high several days back at 125.85. At this point, the market should continue to be very well supported as the structure remains highly constructive, though if we do see setbacks below 122 and below that low that we saw this week at 21.94, this could open the door for an acceleration of declines down towards the 121 area. Ultimately though, any setback should be very well supported ahead of 120, that psychological barrier, in favor of the next major upside extension and a bullish continuation back above that recent multi-year high that was set on June 5th at 125.85. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss looks to be more and more constructive with the market very well supported on dips. Right now dip supported ahead of 103 and the, the market looks like it wants to take out key resistance which comes in the form of that 105.75 recent range high going back to the 4th of June. A push above 105.75 in the sessions ahead will open the door for a retest of the critical February peak in this market at 108.15. Ultimately only a close back below the low that we saw going back to 20th of April which comes in around 102.35 would compromise the recovery outlook. Aussie dollar. So Aussie's been trading with a heavy tone in recent trade, although the market overall for much of this year has been locked within a sideways consolidation with a, within a more well-defined medium-term downtrend. However, the market is closing in and gravitating back towards that multi-year low that we saw earlier this year at 75.33 with a break below to open the door for the next major downside extension towards psychological barriers at 70. At this point, any rally should be very well capped ahead of 78.19, that high that we saw back on the 18th of June. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has paused a little bit following that latest surge that we saw this week, although the break that we saw this week above some resistance that had come in right around the 125.65 area is significant and opens the door for the next major upside extension back towards a retest and break of the 2015 high at 28.35. At this point, only back below the low that we saw, which is now a confirmed higher low in the 21.30 area, would negate the bullish outlook. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi remains very well offered with the market extending declines on a daily basis to fresh 2015 and multi-year lows, five-year lows, with the market now trading down closer to that 65 measured move objective. At this point, the market is oversold, so we could see a bit of a bounce in recent in, in over the coming sessions, but any rally should be very well capped in the 70 area, while ultimately only back above 7232 would compromise the bearish outlook. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 is showing more and more signs of rolling over since posting that record high back in May at 2137. Right now the key focus is on that March low that we saw at 2040 with a break below to confirm the topish structure and accelerate declines. But while the market does hold above 2040 on a medium term basis, the structure does continue to retain its bullish outlook for, and opens the door for a potential retest and break of that 2137 high. Gold. So gold has come under pressure in recent trade 
with the market taking out some key internal support at the 1170 area, trading down to as low as 1157 thus far. At this point, if the market continues to sustain itself below 1170, this will open the door for a retest initially of the low that we saw earlier this year at 1143, which guards against the 2014 base at 1131 further down. At this point, we're going to need to see on a short-term basis a break back above 1188 to take the immediate pressure off the downside and put the focus back on the potential for a longer term base and acceleration to the top side.